So what needs to happen uh, for Bitcoin to function more effectively? I think it, it's happening right now. Like more and more people see this valuable. Every time that number goes up, people get more interested in it. I don't believe in Bitcoin and its final stage is just a store of value, but I think it's a necessary part of the path to get to, um, I think, the next big one, which is remittance across border, moving money between businesses, moving money between people across borders, which is happening in um, many countries outside the United States and Western countries today because there's no other options. Um, and then it gets to currency. As people get more comfortable with it, as they see that it's not going away, Bitcoin is over close to 16 years old right now. Um, it's never gone down. It's never had a security uh, issue. It has no leader. It has a completely open roadmap, and it's determined by a consensus development model. These are all really in incredible ways to trust it as a currency. Um, so as it becomes more understood and it feels like it's going to last, I think people will trust it more and more as like, oh, this is the way I'm moving money to my family now. And this is the way I'm buying coffee now. And this is the way I'm buying computers or whatever. Um, it's a deflationary currency. So it doesn't encourage spending. It does encourage savings. But I think it has a really interesting path um, and provides a lot of interesting business models for the internet. If Bitcoin existed before we started Twitter, we'd be in a much different state and I'd, I think we'd be in a much better state and we wouldn't have all the issues that you see with social media today because it's not a tax on the system. It allows for a, a business model that's aligned with the people that are using it every single day. Uh, why would social media be better if you had Bitcoin? Because you, you could get to commerce right away. You could get to subscription right away. You didn't have to get permission from Visa and MasterCard. You didn't have to wait for the security of such uh, uh, payments on the internet um, by virtue and by the grace of Visa and MasterCard to build it. Um, mm. It's built into the internet um, and it works at massive scale. So if we had that tool and we had commerce at that scale, um, we could build a pretty phenomenal business that's like all, all communication is exchange of value. Commerce is exchange of value. If you pair currency with communication, you ease commerce and you ease um, buying and selling of things. And the internet wants to create efficiencies there, but the biggest friction in that creation of efficiency were the payment networks and the banks and the way we currently deal with, with money. 